Welcome everybody back to another video. So this is kind of like an emergency video, but not really. But Party City just released. So yeah, today Party City actually literally makes their whole entire animatronic setup basically for Halloween 2024. And it's insane. So um there is I think around like five animatronics uh what are all super cool including one that i believe has not been even leaked yet but these animatronics are just super cool definitely better than last year even though i wasn't really like into the party city type that um last year but it is super cool and freaking insane so let's just start so first we actually have the ember and um Dude is like, I think a reskin of the Crackles guy. I forgot his name. He was of that Groundbreaker. Um, it's a smaller reskin of it, but honestly, it looks pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it has a pumpkin head. It kind of reminds me of the Inferno skeleton that Home Depot had a few years ago. The twelve foot. Um, I'm pretty sure that was its name. <laughs> But, um, I'm pretty sure it kind of goes up with a, um, black light. Well, it's pretty cool. And generally, I should say this is a pretty good reskin. Alright, next we actually have, I think, Galutha? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this was leaked a while back, and it was 450 bucks. It was absurd. Luckily, they literally, um, they lowered it to, by 50 bucks uh it still could be lower but i believe it's eight or nine feet tall and it has animation it talks and it moves its arms side to side and its wings do move with glow up eyes and if you have some swamp theme or like yeah like a swamp theme i guess you could say this goes good with it um 400 bucks I would say to buy other props. I feel like 400 is pretty, like, is a lot for this prop. I mean, yes, it looks detailed and stuff, but for the amount of animation and movement, it's interesting. Alright, next we have the, um, like, the two-headed goat, the contaminated one. Um, I forgot to mention the last one. Um, this one is $275. What, to be honest, could be lower. I feel like that's a little too much for it. But other than that, it looks super cool. I like how it has, like, looks like it has a little cloth on it. I like how it breathes fog. And the detail is actually pretty nice. Uh, this could easily go along, you know, like a farm haunt or like a section of your haunt. Um, I do feel like the price is, like, a little too steep, like, that, that's a lot of money, to be honest, like, 275 bucks, I feel like it could go lower to around 200 bucks. Next, we kind of have, like, the reskin, but not really, of that popcorn guy from a few years ago, and this one is actually not a pop, it's actually... A claw machine named Skill Crane, and you actually push the button for it to activate. And basically, it's like that popcorn guy, and basically, a teddy bear lunges up and jumps out of it. Well, I feel like it's a pretty cool. Um, I like the detail. I like how the crane at the top moves. It's um, not really necessary, but it's pretty cool. But you know, it's a nice jump scare and um, pretty cool. All right, next we have the two Terrifier props. I've never seen the movie because, well, yeah, why would I? But um, these two are two licensed props. And um, you have Terrifier, or Art, I should say, himself, and then the little um, girl there. Um, basically, so the prices are 175 and 250 Um, I mean, for the animation, I would say it's worth it. Um, they are licensed props, so that means they're going to be a little bit more... The rat in the hand there, I mean, I feel like they could have added some blood on it. But otherwise, the animation, I should say, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, I do like how she kind of rocks the, the rat around. Um, and I guess the waving animation is fine. I like how she also moves ahead and she moves side to side. And the gore in it is just absolutely insane.
Next, we have Art the Clown, and for 250 bucks, I mean, his animation is kind of interesting. Not the best, but as you can see, he has glasses. You can easily take those off. He is super gory, which I do like, and I like how he has a little saw there in his horn. Um, but as you can see, you can take the glasses off. Um, he has his little hat on there, tons of freaking blood. His animation, like I said, it could be a little more. He kind of moves his arm up and down, moves side to side. His head doesn't move that much. But, I mean, I guess you could say, I think he's around six feet tall. I don't know, but, I don't know, 250 bucks. I mean, if you're a good terif ter um, terrifier friend. If you if you like it, I would say I guess that's worth it with a coupon. Um, yeah. So next we actually have one that we did not even know it has, and it's actually named Hack Hacking Heidi. I think I said that correct. A hundred fifty bucks. Her animation is kind of weird because it looks like she's gonna like throw the axe down, but like it actually doesn't. I was pretty confused. She kind of reminds me of uh, that one spirit Halloween prop from a long time ago. Her mouth moves. Um, but the animation is honestly just quite weird for 150 bucks. But you think it's like gonna lunge forward, but then like I I honestly don't know. I think what was supposed to happen is it's supposed to go at the bottom and it lunges up like that. But I can't tell if it's broken or something. Right. But if you want to... Next, we have freaking Dr. Payne. I think I said that correct. And he is absolutely sick. I just love this guy. I'm totally going to get him. If you don't know, I love fucking props so much. And this guy just looks sick. Sitting at 9.7 feet tall. It looks like he's a clown on stilts. I love the color scheme. And for $325, I would say this is worth it like a fire breather what's even cooler and as you can see it's just just i love this prop so much like i ain't going to get it all right next we have rattles i said crackles here we have rattles here um he was a fan favorite from last year i'm pretty sure nothing has changed on him um i don't know about his price i don't think that's changed but he's the big groundbreaker 300 bucks um all right, next we actually have the skele um skelly the skeleton um and the showy the disco skele um um skeleton and it is two hundred dollars and I will tell you the reason why it's six feet tall I believe and basically it's like a disco skeleton so you may be wondering why is this six foot skeleton so expensive and that's because apparently every single tile you see on there is a hand put so um and that kind of like t um is like why it's so expensive i feel like 200 dollars for a skeleton is just absurd with a coupon you could cop it for cheap i guess um but it's a disco skeleton yeah they're supposedly put on there by hand um there's also a baby version for 90 bucks what I think is three feet tall. I don't know, but like ninety dollars for a baby skeleton and freaking two hundred dollars. I would suggest to get the other skeletons that are about to show soon. So yeah. All right. So here are the other skeletons. So there's three more skeletons. So first, we actually have like some Roddy Scotty, and you can like easily fit this in a freaking jungle haunt. I really like how this looks. Um, it looks like it's been, like, just sitting and rotting. The only problem I have with it is the knees right there. As you can see, it just looks like, it feels weird how it's just nothing there. But other than that, he honestly looks pretty cool. For $55? I mean, he, I mean, that's a reasonable price. Next, we have Glowy Joey. And to be honest, what's, seriously, what's, like... A difference. It's regular skeleton that can go under black white. Eighty bucks is just absurd for this. Like it's literally just a black light reactive skeleton. Eighty bucks. Like charging eighty bucks for this is just no. 
Okay, next we actually have a pumpkin head um, skeleton named Patches, and for 45 bucks, I mean, it could be a little cheaper, as it's not that much detail, as it's literally like an orange skeleton with a pumpkin head, but honestly, it looks pretty cool. So that was the full animatronic, basically kind of Halloween lineup for Furkin Party City. It looks absolutely sick. They, like, they, like, did a pretty good job. I'm definitely going to get the fire breather because he's just sick. But, um, yeah, everyone, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Um, I also forgot to mention this, but you can actually pre-order, I believe, all of these props now on the official Party City website. Um... I would just maybe use a coupon, but yeah, if you go on the official Party City um, freaking website, you can pre-order these now. So, they're probably going to sell out fast, but yeah. Anyways, see you in the next video. Bye!